Hey everyone, Chad Gallivanter here, and I make videos about travel, history, and Florida life here on YouTube. I'm back in Melbourne, Florida, highlighting some amazing places you can't miss on the southern end of the Space Coast. In this video, I'll share seven places you can't miss in Melbourne, especially the historic O'Galley Arts District. However, there's still lots to cover here, so if you enjoy this video, be sure to give it a like and a subscribe so I know to make more videos like this. 45 minutes east of Orlando and a short drive south of Kennedy Space Center, the city of Melbourne is known as the Harbor City. There are places to visit here you won't find anywhere else. From a former chapel that now houses an impressive antique collection, and a bar where you can have childhood comfort food like SpaghettiOs, to colorful murals perfect for your Instagram feed, and a little shop where you can find the perfect pie. So let's start exploring those can't miss places. Here I am at the historic Rossiter House Museum. The house belonged to one of the most influential families in the community's history, going all the way back to the turn of the 20th century. Amazingly, most of the original furniture is still inside, making it a wonderful time capsule from a different era. Guided tours are normally available Wednesday through Saturday. Be sure to email or call ahead to make reservations. One of the coolest stories you take away from this place is the story of Carrie Rossiter. It's a really unique story about girl power. Back in the 1920s, she became the first woman to ever hold an oil agent position in one of the largest companies in the nation, Standard Oil. You might know the company better today as Chevron. Carrie held the position at a time and in an industry that wasn't very favorable to women, and she did it for an astonishing 62 years. Carrie never married, never had kids, pretty much lived inside this house with her sister her entire life. After many years of service to her community, she died in the 1990s at the age of 101. The gardens here are beautiful and just across the street is a small cemetery dating back to the late 1800s inside Rossiter Park. Just by taking a walk on the streets of this close-knit community, you're going to find the residents here have a deep love for the arts. This is known as the O'Galley Arts District, or EGAD for short. Many of the historic buildings here have vibrant murals painted by artists known around the world for their work. With so many murals in this district, locals like to think of it as an outdoor museum. If you're looking for a cool spot to conduct a photo shoot or snap some selfies for your Instagram, this is the place to do it. on Highland Avenue and nestled in between these two buildings is something you have to experience when you're in O'Galley. At the end of this alleyway is Joan's Perfect Pie. It's a shop all about pies. It can't get any better. Ready. 
Thank you. I'm so excited. We got a chocolate cream pie, a banana cream pie, and then we got two additional ones. I got cherry and pecan. The crust definitely has a nice crunch to the outside, but it's nice and flaky on the inside. And then you get that tart cherry with it. it just makes for the perfect bite. The Salty Fox is a quirky bar where all the locals hang out. There's games, there's live music, awesome food. This is the place to be. There's a whole section of the menu devoted to what they call vintage food, you know, the stuff that you used to eat as a kid. Things like SpaghettiOs, pizza rolls, and corn dogs, comfort food that brings back good memories. They also do an adult version of the Capri Sun. Now that's what I'm talking about. We've made our way north to this spot on Wickham Road. What you see behind me looks like a church from the outside, and that's exactly what it was for many years. But in 2017, the wooden chapel was transformed into Junk and Company, an incredible sanctuary for antiques and women's fashion. Inside, there's an eclectic, always changing collection of items covering a range of styles and eras. You'll find a lot of French items here with some German and Italian mixed in. If your thing is shabby chic, you definitely owe it to yourself to make some time for this place. They do have limited hours here. Be sure to check their Facebook page before making a special trip. One of the shops we always hit when we're in town is the Flop Shop. True to its name, this little store is packed with quality high-end beach footwear. Stocking names like Reef, Sanook, Rainbow, and of course, our favorite, Olakai. There's always a good selection and I never leave with fewer than two or three pairs. Now time to hit up one of our favorite watering holes in Melbourne, Hell and Blazes Brewing Company. Located inside a fully renovated, century-old former hardware and farm supply store that's supposedly haunted, this micro brew house is one of the friendliest and most laid back you'll find. On this visit, we purchased their handmade cheese curds, pretzels, and a flight of some of their finest ciders. They also have a game room and a separate event space called The Vault, or what I like to refer to as the ultimate man cave that I would like to have someday. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to check out my other guides from destination cities around the great state of Florida and some other places too. See you next time.